Good morning guys. Welcome morning. back to another video. It's early on a Sunday morning. I say early. It's about 8.30 isn't 8.30 it? but that is early for yeah, a Sunday. For the Sabbath. For the Sabbath. It is early. Lucy has foregone going to church this morning. Mm, all sliding. for a car boot sale. We love the bargains. We love the bargains. We've been meaning to go to a big car boot sale. We're talking not bric-a-brac. We're talking like some bric-a-brac but Furniture. Furniture. We're talking mirrors. Mirrors. We're talking <laughs> bureaus. Furniture. I don't know. Mirrors. I can't think of anything but bureaus and mirrors, which I is very specific. Books. Books, yes. Books, vintage, maybe DVDs. Maybe DVDs. Maybe vintage clothes. Yes, vintage clothes, because Lucy, as you know, she's got a conscious Instagram. Uh, mm. What do you call it? A sustainability Instagram. Instagram. Well, it's called Conscious Lou or Conscious Lou, is conscious. it? Conscious Lou. If you want to follow her, so she's going to be filming some Instagram stuff all about sustainable, yeah. going, buying things that are good for the earth because they're secondhand and they're not killing the planet. Yeah. Um, and I'll be vlogging. So um, we've just stopped and got all our cold hard cash. Wow! I know. Are you good at haggling? No, Leah was like, "You're gonna just offer them like the full more price, aren't not. you, or more?" <laughs> yeah, it's one pound. I'll give you one ten. <laughs> I'll give you twenty. I'll give you twenty. Um, um, are you good at haggling? I am when I'm on holiday. Okay. On holiday, I think it's the done thing, isn't it? I'm sure it is the done thing at a club itself, but it feels a bit it more awkward because we're British and I know. I'm not confrontational at all. You're going to be, they'll be like, it's 30p and you'll go, I'll give you 27. I'll give you 27. <laughs> 27. Fine, 29. <laughs> um, but I want, I want to try because I yeah. think, I think it's the done thing. But I think the British way is just to go, would you take two yeah, pounds? Yeah, okay. But then what if you offer something really below and they think you idiot? Uh, well, they it's can like, always just say no, can't yeah, they? Um, but. I know what you mean. I'd be mortified if they turned down my. And they were like, "This is actually two hundred pounds." Because then they just think you're really cheap. Exactly. Well, oh, yeah. Well, we are. Um, hence why we're going to a car boot sale. Exactly. Um, but yeah, we're not necessarily looking for anything specific. We're going no, with open it's minds. One thing. We Mirrors. would like a mirror. A mirror. Uh, we're just saying mirror in an Irish accent, or what we think is an Irish accent. It's probably not an Irish, Irish accent. Irish. I'm so sorry. So we, were, sorry. we didn't mean it. We've been watching too much Derry Girls. Derry Girls. Um, but yeah, we, we do want need mirror. mirrors, don't we? We need one for the mantelpiece. Yes, we do. One for above the stairs. Yes, ideally. I'd like one for my room, for my yes. Um, oh, yeah. It's just so much, so many mirrors. So many mirrors. That's what happens when you live in a narcissistic household, guys. We love looking at ourselves. Don't we? We love it. Yeah. What happens if you break a mirror? Seven years bad luck. Right. Do you mean that the car boots up? I was, I was thinking, imagine if we bought one and then got it in the car and then we... Well, we couldn't return it then, it'd be us. It would be on us, wouldn't it? Seven years bad luck. Yeah. I once Gosh. said it was seven years bad luck. Oh, really? Bad <laughs> Wow, that would explain it. <laughs> <laughs> that that always, always sense. I don't think I ever have broken a mirror, so... No. Well, yeah. So, you can take from that what you want. <laughs> Guys, we've just arrived and we've stopped at the bakery. <laughs> We're hungry. That's like the most important thing. Isn't it, it is. Look at the lighting. Oh, what a right, we've got these jam little pastries. <laughs> Go on, do your Instagram. Go follow Lucy, guys. She gets very shy because you're new to it. I'm used to it now. Best breakfast ever. I used to have one of those. Ten pounds from Mill. Oh, did you, Mr. Frosty? Throwback. Ooh, Downton Abbey. Yeah. Lovely. These look very cool. All like old prints and photos. Wow. These are lovely. It's so cute. <laughs> very modern. What are these? <sighs> Where I love We could get a massive lantern like from Narnia <laughs> and put it. We did. Underpants, fantastic. Look at these. I used to collect beanie babies. I used to have so many of them. Oh, I've still got them at home. <gasps> Is that Spunky? <laughs> oh no, that's not Spunky. Spunky was my first one. Aww. Yeah. Which one <gasps> goatee. I remember Goatee. Aww. His name is Goatee, look. <laughs> I oh no. I think I've had a lamp. It didn't look like this, so oh. it's a boring story. <laughs> look at the long croquet. There's actually croquet bats in there. That is so cool. 
Got some rugs. We do actually need a rug. Maybe not red. Yeah, I said they're very cool if we had a vegetable garden. But we don't. America. A narrative history. I should get that, really. Yeah, it's Country Life magazine from the 50s, from the Coronation version. Very cool. I subscribe to this magazine in the present day. Guys, I'll be honest, it's not really my sort of thing. I think I need to go to like a antique market. Something with the older stuff. I've shown you lots of older stuff, but there's, there's hardly any. Everything's new or like just not my vibes. I think I need to go to an antique market. This could do us nicely. Maybe it's a bit too traditional. So we've got an ice cream to make up for it. Maybe in the middle down there, we're gonna go get a pick. Yeah, we just bought the pastries and ice cream and that is all we've bought. Never mind. Well, thank goodness for the ice cream because we didn't buy one that, thing. We wouldn't have bought anything. Yeah, just wasn't, I think, an antique fair or a furniture. Like, there wasn't even many books, I was saying. Like, I was hoping for rows <laughs> and rows of books. Is there a bug? Get down. Ew, what is that? I don't know, it's like an earwig. Ooh. Sorry. That's Sorry to right. interrupt. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, it won't get out. Get it out. Whoa. Flick it with this. I think it's gone. <gasps> no, I just put my hand on it. <laughs> <laughs> It's gone. As we were saying. Well done. Yeah, I think we're just going to uh, try a different one next time. Something a bit more upmarket, a bit more bougie, less mm. tat, more furniture, items, mm. books, less DVDs. Less DVDs. Do you remember when so, yeah, we'll see. Mm. But it's still fun to do on a Sunday Some afternoon. morning, we've got a nice tan, morning. I think. Yeah, we've got a well good tan. Farmer's tan for me. Look at that. Oh, awful. Right, bye! Lucy and I have just been gardening in the front garden and we're gonna tackle some of the back garden now, including cutting off a big part of this bush so that we can hopefully put one of our mini sheds in the middle there. So, um, got this old saw, gonna give it a go. Guys, this saw was here when we moved in and it's so rusty, it's really hard to saw with. I need to buy a new one, but. Oh, oh. oh wow. <laughs> what have we done? I'm so out of breath and it's not even finished. My saw is stuck in there. <sighs> Look at that little gnome. Oh, there's a couple of little gnomes in there. This is all left behind from the previous owner. All right now, Lucy's having a go at this one. We're only cutting off a little bit of this one. This one's quite tall and it blossoms. It's very nice. Well done. Thank you. Ava's paddling pools in there. <laughs> so we have just tried to bring up one of our sheds from the front garden all the way through the house, out the back of here. It then didn't fit through the door, so we took the the roof off and then we took the back off and then and eventually basically the kitchen's the state there's spiders everywhere we've been screaming and stuff because there's snails in here it's, it's so gross it, but it does it's I don't eggy. I don't know why anyway it's gonna give us extra storage out here so that's and we can then keep the lawn mower in the back garden as opposed to traipsing it through the house every time we want to mow the lawn so that I'm looking forward to that Ava's had it with us sorry Aves. This is worse than an escape room. <laughs> okay, I'll hold that there. There we go. Push. Where? Push the tie. Push. What, that? Towards me. Oh, oh, push. Push. Get in here. That was not clear. Your instructions are not clear. Your instructions are not clear. Push. <laughs> Help! <laughs> What are you going to do, you know? We need more storage. What well, good work, Lucy. That was a brainwave from you. Yeah. You don't have many of them. <laughs> right, another little job that needs doing. So a while ago, Lucy and I put up our curtains and as you can see, we've got some tie backs which need touching up because they scratched the paint there. But as you can see, this one's in the wall, very solid. 
This one, however, I obviously drilled the hole a bit too big because it just comes right out of the wall. So I've been told by my dad that an easy way to fix that is to buy bigger wall plugs to fit the bigger holes. So I've bought a whole range of sizes. So I'm gonna try and match up what would fit this one and try it again. Right, so this is slightly bigger. Let's see if this will go in. It doesn't, it doesn't go in far enough. Right, I might need to drill slightly deeper hole for that. Hmm, let's give it a go. Right, so as you can see, <laughs> this was the original hole, and I'll fill that, repaint it, do this one. You know, this one didn't go far in enough at all either, so I think there must be a steel beam right here. This side, it went in properly, so as you can see, that's now firmly attached. I guess that's the thing, you just have no idea what's inside the walls, whether there's a steel beam or whether there's even electric. So I always get worried drilling, so I'm like, what if I hit a wire? But you have no way of telling, so unless someone has invented a device where you can tell where things are on the wall, let me know. But now I need to fill these holes, because they look a little bit unsightly. It's all filled and patched up, so um, we'll let that dry and then we can repaint it. Let's try and attach the curtains. Where is it gone? Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Ava, you can't block my face there. Oh, I'll put Ava down. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit of a mishmash of a vlog. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that if you are interested in becoming a member on this channel, I now do exclusive members only vlogs as well as members only live streams every month. So there's lots more content. The price also has not changed. So if you're interested in getting more content from me, then click join next to subscribe and it will tell you the different options. Ah, <sighs> I'm knackered today, guys. I've just been painting my front door. That's gonna be another vlog soon. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, do all the things, and I'll see you next time. Bye.